So today we are going to be making stuffed apples. So our ingredients are going to be six apples, two lemons, uh, raisins, half a cup of raisins, a fourth a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and three-fourths cup of sunflower seeds. I cannot have sunflower seeds, so I will be leaving these out of my recipe, but you will just add them in when we start putting the ingredients in the bowl. So before we do anything, we're going to preheat the oven to 350. I've already preheated mine. It's pretty noisy. And then wash our hands. I just finished washing my hands as well. And then washing the fruit. As you can see, that has already been done as well. So first we're going to start with pouring the apple. Um, for me, I found it easier to cut it in half. And when you cut, make sure you don't tuck your fingers under so you don't cut any fingers off. And make sure your spot has been disinfected, which mine has been. So we're going to lay our apples up. And then we're going to take our core. And we're just going to kind of twist and get some of the core out and then hollow it out a little more. apple shavings from the inside from coring out your apple. I've been giving them to my dogs. You can either eat them, save them for a different recipe, or give them to your pets. you do not cut yourself with this because it is very sharp. Okay, so once we've cored the apples and got a little boat shape to put the mix in, we will set those off over here. I have already cored the other five apples just so it didn't take too much time. So we're going to get two bowls and we're going to take one of the lemons and we're going to cut it in half. Remember, make sure your fingers are tucked and make sure you're aware of where your fingers are at all times when you cut so you don't have an accident and cut your finger. You're going to squeeze the lemon into a bowl. We're going to put both halves in. We're going to take our spoon and we're going to pull the seeds out. And then we're going to rinse off our hands and our spoon because we'll need both of those. Now we are going to take our clean towel and we are going to dry off our spoon. off to the side for a second. We are going to mix our 
half a teaspoon of cinnamon, We're going to put our fourth cup of brown sugar in. And now we are going to mix in our half a cup of raisins. This is also where you could add your sunflower seeds or you can also add walnuts. And now we're going to mix it together. So now that we have our mixture, whoops, now that we have our mixture all mixed, we are going to go ahead and stuff the apples. And then we're going to put them on the baking sheet. So now that all of our apples are stuffed, we uh, are going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon over them. I have just finished that. And then we're going to take our lemon juice. I've also done that. You just kind of pour it over all of the apples and then you want some in the bottom of the pan. So we have our other lemon for that. We're going to cut this in half and just kind of squeeze it all over the pan just to give it a little bit of juice at the bottom. We are now going to put the apples in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes just until the skin starts to barely wrinkle and the apples start to turn a golden brown color. Halfway through the cook time you'll take some of the juice on the bottom and just kind of put them up on the apples. Don't forget to have your parents help you with this so you do not get burned. And in 45 minutes to 30 to 45 minutes we will see how they turn out. So this is the finished product. They're not supposed to be very hard, but they're not supposed to be like incredibly soft. So I washed my hands, and you should be able to pinch them, and there should be a little bit of resistance, but there should also be a little bit of a give. So now you just got to let them cool off, and then you can serve them and enjoy them.